why not? What about IDO inhibitor, epicatastat pembro? I, that, I thought that looked awfully encouraging. Yes, I was really impressed by this data. So, and, and from both sides, first from the efficacy and second by the tolerability. So this seems to be a, a, a promising approach and, and we have to keep in mind that the monotherapy with the IDO1 inhibitor is more or less without any clinical benefit. So there is really the hope that together with the NTPD1 strategy, this will be, this will be promising. And well, it, it's, it's, uh, it was quite a step to jump directly from the phase one into the phase three clinical trial. But on the other hand, without a phase three clinical trial, you will, we will never know. Mm. So if you investigate this with these data, you have to do it in the right way, and which is phase three. Additional phase two, I think, would not help. It almost no. makes you want to have an early look, meaning have yeah. a phase three design, which I, and those designs exist yeah. where you can have an early look, almost like a randomized mm -hmm. phase two, and then if it looks good enough, you jump on to the big phase three, but you can include the earlier data within the total analysis. Yeah. Nice. But, those but the phase three is already activated. It's the, the, the trial is running already. Maybe there yeah. would be an interim actively analysis. recruiting. Yeah, it's uh, recruiting so like crazy. Yeah, yeah that's so the problem. If you it know, recruits quickly, you can't do that. I, I was surprised when Reinhardt was telling us about his biomarker panel in Zurich because he was including IDO1 already yes. as one of the really? biomarkers. So IDO1, for, uh, to my best knowledge, is a prognostic marker for melanoma. It has prognostic impact, but is it a prognostic and predictive marker? We don't know, but we, we have it in our immunohistochemistry panel and we see uh, stainings, uh, the stainings work very nicely. We have some questions with the interpretation because the, the st cells that stain mostly are endothelial cells. Wow. So we're getting close to the end, so you know, this has been incredibly informative. Uh, but before we end this uh, outstanding discussion with four great colleagues, uh, I'd like to get final thoughts from each of the panelists. So Reinhard, Dr. Doomer, what, what, what's your final thought to wrap things up? Uh, we live in uh, exciting times. We are privileged that we are in this and we have a lot to do. And I think this is a, a great opportunity for academia to uh, create developments that will help our patients. Axel, Dr. Hausschild. Yeah, as you know, as the other panelists, you know, I'm in the field for more than 20 years and I had uh, numerous clinical trials who failed to demonstrate even a response rate difference. So it's fantastic to see all these clinical trials coming up and new, eight new drugs approved in just five years. And I believe the future lies in combinational and sequential approaches which are intelligent and only biomarker studies can help us to distinguish, you know, the best schedule from uh, a schedule which is less likely to be as efficacious. Caroline, Dr. Robert. Yeah, I, I just can, uh, I agree. And I think the, it's like the ground is moving under our feet. We have new drugs, new toxicity to manage, new uh, classification for the resist, a new uh, classification for the melanoma is going to, have to arrive. So we have to, to do frequent updates like that. And it was not a pure exchange. It was legend of the fall, I think. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Dirk, Dr. Schadendorf. So I think uh, we have come over the last five, six years uh, from uh, a graveyard uh, to uh, close to heaven now. I mean, um, I think this is a transformation which has, uh, is unmatched and unseen. Um, I think uh, it's, uh, I was afraid that uh, after all the successful trials and um, drugs now available that uh, there would be not enough interest to keep, keep the science and uh, the development going. Uh, and I'm pleased to see that uh, so many more um, companies and drugs and drug combinations are being tested now uh, in the uh, field of uh, melanoma, actually paving the way also for targeted therapy as well as for checkpoint blockade uh, also in other fields of oncology. And this is very gratifying. Thank you. Great. So thanks to all of you for your contributions to this discussion. On behalf of our panel, we thank you for joining us and we hope you found this peer exchange discussion to be useful and informative. Thank you very much. <laughs>